Hello. Now today's video is a bit of a strange one. You see, I've been sent this. Now this is the Mothra MT360 from firstplayer.com. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Now I know it's a liquid cooler for a computer. So it's an all-in-one unit. It's got a radiator, it's got fans, it's got fancy ARGB stuff. But I don't really know much else about it. So what I thought I'd do in this video is get it out of the box and uh, if it looks any good, we'll install it into my computer and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So there's not very much information about this online. There's not many videos on YouTube. I, it is a new product, so that's probably why, but I can't even tell you how much it costs or where you can buy it from because there's just no information on it. So. Yeah, this should be an interesting but vague video, but you know, what do you expect from me? So is this the absolute pinnacle of water cooling or is it just e-waste? Well, I guess all we can do is crack it open, have a play and find out. Now I've actually been sent two of these. I've been sent the MT360, which is the three fan version and the MT240, which is the um, two fan version. Now, I'm not sure, I might do a giveaway for the two fan version because I don't really need it. So, you know, we'll, we'll have a little think about that. So uh, let's have a little look on the back of the box and uh, see what's what. Well, you know, it looks like a standard AIO really. It's compatible with Intel and AMD CPUs. It's got a radiator, it comes with three fans, uh, uses ARGB LED lighting. Um, uh, yeah, it's just sort of, you know, pretty standard stuff. I know that they're uh, PWM type fans, so that is good. Okay. Well, I suppose that's a good start. All the fans are actually mounted onto the radiator, so that's one less job to do. Should we have a look at the instructions? I don't even know if they're in English. Mothra. Yeah, so it's got very basic instructions about how to install it onto your CPU. And uh, yeah, some vague instructions about tightening it up. And then it's got this wiring diagram. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward, but let's have a little look and see what cables and things it comes with. Okay, let's uh, get the beast out. That is a chonky boy. Okay, well this is, um, well I mean this isn't terrible. These water pipes here are actually ARGB2 and they are meant to pulse colour down them which is pretty cool. So we just seem to have a three pin power connector for the pump and an ARGB connector there. And then in here we've just got the actual radiator with the fans mounted. Now they are ARGB fans and uh, yeah, there's just a lot of wires. Now there is an ARGB connector at the top of the hoses, which I assume controls the color of those. And then each fan seems to have a ARGB connector and a four pin fan connector. So that is really handy. We've got a four pin power connector there and we've got three female connectors there. And so that splits the power of the fans. So that is good. So you don't need loads of fan connectors on your motherboard. So this just seems to be the uh, mounting brackets, some thermal paste, some screws. Yeah, there's not really all that much in here. Yeah, so it comes with this cable here, which is designed for if your motherboard doesn't have an ARGB connector, you can just plug it into a SATA connector and it just powers the ARGB. Now you don't actually get any control over the lights. There'll just be one sort of setting. Hmm, this is, this is interesting. I mean, on the surface, it actually looks like quite a nice kit but there's just a lot of wiring involved. And I'm just trying to work out how it would fit into my system. 
because these tube things, whilst they look very cool, they don't really offer much flexibility. This is, this is an interesting one because I do want to install it and see it working, but equally, it's going to be a bit of a ball ache to install and get working. Well, what I might do is uh, get it installed and uh, see what happens. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, there's just so many connectors and cables for it. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare to install. I'm not gonna do like a full how to install video because I've done those before. They take ages to film and edit and it just doesn't seem worth it. So uh, yeah, let's get this installed and we'll uh, go from there. So um, I'm part way through installing this Mothra cooler and it seems to be going okay, but the instruction manual isn't very clear on something and this is the AMD mounting brackets. Now the instructions suggest it should go on the top here and you screw it in, but actually it has to go between the gap can you see that one's empty and that one isn't? Yeah, it needs to screw in through that gap. And it just cost me 10 minutes wondering what the hell I was doing wrong um, because I was following the instructions. So uh, yeah, worth bearing in mind. Well, I've got some uh, cable tidying to do, but let's uh, see how it works. Wow, okay, that is a lot of color. I need to adjust the uh, fan settings, but that definitely seems to be working okay. That is pretty cool. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, sh short grumble at that. Now, fingers crossed, it actually keeps my computer cool. I'll have to use it for a bit and uh, report back. Okay, so uh, there it is installed and we're at my desk. Now, um, I'm just sort of going to show you or well, let you listen to how loud it is or isn't. So at the moment, I've got it set to silent in AI Suite, which is a bit of software that my computer uses to control the fans. Um, as you can hear, it's pretty silent. If I just put it onto standard mode now. Again, it is pretty flipping quiet, really. Now if we uh, crank it up to turbo. It's starting to make a little bit more noise, but it's not too bad. And then, I mean, this is just silly, so... Uh, this is everything running at full pelt. So that is all the fans and pump and everything ramped up to their maximum speed. So, you know, it's not, it's not actually horrendous. Just switch it back down to turbo again. So there you go, that is uh, a little look at it installed and um, it running. So let's go back to the desk and uh, wrap up and also do a competition. Ooh. So there you go, that is it all installed and running and it seems to be okay. I mean, I've literally just installed it. So long-term use, I can't tell you how it's going to perform, how it's gonna last or how good it's gonna be, but it looks okay. Now the only problem with the installation that you might have is if you've got a smaller motherboard with not much space between the CPU socket and the memory slots is the tubes are quite thick because they've got the lighting in. They do very nearly foul the memory slots, but thankfully on mine it's okay, but you know, you might have a bit of an issue there, but it's it seems all right on mine, thankfully. Um, yeah, I, it, I'm a bit, Frustrated is not the right word because this isn't actually out yet and because you can't buy it um, I can't like 
point you in that direction. But when it is available to buy, I'll make sure I update the description below with details on how you can get it and how much it will cost. But I don't imagine this is the most high end of coolers that are available. So I don't think you're gonna be spending too much money on it. But if you want one for absolutely nothing, then uh, I've got this one to give away. So this is the smaller version. This is the MT240, which has got two fans instead of three. And uh, well, I don't need it because I've already installed it in my computer. So yeah, this one is up to grabs. So let's just say um, you have to subscribe to my channel and you have to comment in the comment section below what CPU you'd like to strap this onto. So, you know, could be an Intel one, could be an AMD one. But yeah, just tell me which CPU you want to put this liquid cooler on and I will pick someone at random. Uh, I'll make it run till the 30th of January 2022, just so it gives people a chance to enter. So this competition is only available for people in the UK or Ireland. So if you enter and uh, you win and you're based somewhere else, then sorry, that's tough. So yeah, just tell me in the comments below what processor you'd like to strap this onto and uh, I'll pick someone at random out of all of the comments. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how many people are into this, but I'd say you've got a pretty good chance of winning. So that is it for this video. If it's been any way helpful to you at all, then please do give it a thumbs up. Liking a video really does help build this channel and make it grow. But for now, it's game over.